back. This is um, part two for 13.3. Okay, I want to talk about the next problem, which you would see on this next um, worksheet. What happens if it's 270 degrees? See, there's something different that we haven't talked about. Notice that the 270 degrees does not lie on the quadrant. It lies right on the XY coordinate plane. So how do you do those that don't make the triangle? So these are the special ones. 270 is one. 90 is one. Um, 180 is one. That's a special one. And the zero degrees is one. So zero, 90, 180, 270, and all the way back around. These are the special ones. They do not make a triangle. So how do you do the special ones? This is how you do the special ones. <clears throat> you make a unit circle. Everybody see this unit circle right here? This point on the unit circle, you would go zero and up one, right one, zero, negative one, zero, and zero, negative one. This is a unit circle. This is the X, this is the Y, and this is the radius of the circle, which would make it also one. So, how do you do these? So let's go back to this. The 271. This is zero comma negative one at 270. This is the X, this is the Y, and the radius is one on this one. And you're trying to do the sine at 270 which is opposite over hypotenuse, or y over r. Well, the y is negative 1, and the r is 1, so a negative 1 divided by 1 is a negative 1. And that's how you do that part. Okay, second day, um, I'm going to give you more notes. Basically, all we're doing is some more of these, so I'm just going to go to the second day right here and all we're doing is just more of these extension I'm just gonna do a couple more of these with you and then I'll let you go and if you want to turn it off now you can turn it off but this is all we're doing so what is the cosine of 120 I go over here that's about 120 and I bring it down to the x-axis. That means that that's 60, and that's 30, and that's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Opposite of 30 is a negative one, opposite of 60 is root three, and the hypotenuse is two. Cosine is a over r, or the a is x, and the, it's a over h, sorry, or x over r. And the x is a negative 1, and the r is 2. Negative 1 half, final answer. A couple more. What's the sine of 315? Which would put you in this quadrant. This would be 45 degrees. It'd be a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Opposite of 45 is a negative 1, because you're in that quadrant, a positive 1, and root 2. Sine is the same thing as so, O over H, but the O really stands for the Y, and the H really stands for the R, and the Y in this problem is a negative 1, and the R in this problem is root 2. Can't leave a radical in math. It's a negative root 2 over 2. A um, couple more. What's the sine of 330? This needs to be at 30 then. This is 60. Opposite of 30 is a negative 1. Opposite of 60 is root 3. And 2. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. It's so. 
4, it's y over r. This is the y, and this is the r. Final answer. OK, um, two more, and I think that's it. What's the, um, let's change this. Let's change this to the tangent of 270, because I already did the cosine of 270. So 270 puts you right here. It does not make a triangle. This is 0, comma, negative 1. And the radius is also equal to 1. And this stands for x, and this stands for y. Okay, and then to find the tangent, remember, it's y over x. I got to take this phone call. I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Um, so the y is a negative 1, and the x is 0. You can never have 0 in the denominator in math. This is no solution. It's undefined. I sometimes write undefined or no solution, same thing. Oh my gosh. Sorry, you guys. Phone is ringing. Hello? Yep. Yeah, I'm videotaping right now, so I keep... Mark just called and now you're, <laughs> I got one problem left to finish on my videotape, but I'm not starting over. So these people are going to be listening to me. <laughs> yeah. How's that for, I'll be done in like five minutes. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Sorry again. Cosine of pi. So how do you do the cosine of pi? You come over here. Pi is the same thing as 180 degrees. This is the same thing as a negative one zero because you have to go out on the x-axis, negative one. This is the x, this is the y, and the r is equal to one. Cosine is this. The adjacent side is really the x value, which is a negative one. The hypotenuse is really the r, which is one, which gives you a negative one. Um, I, I could, I could do another four more, but maybe I'll wait and do that in part three, um, day three, if you need another day three. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this in day three. So.